Okay, so once again, what we are doing here is we are updating the BIOS on the ASRock X399 Gaming Fatality motherboard. Um, I'm doing this because I read uh, quite a few people online that had struggle struggle even getting this uh, thing to power up with the AMD Threadripper in it because it needed the BIOS update. Uh, so I go on the website and it says if you're going to go to the latest BIOS, you have to be, which is like 3.3, you have to be sure that you're at least on 2.1. I have no idea what version of the BIOS this thing shipped with because I haven't even fired it up yet. So I'm just going to go to the, the 2.1 or whatever and then I'll go to the 3.3. So the way you do this is you take a thumb drive right here. You format it FAT32. You download the BIOS update. You extract it from the zip file. You copy it to the thumb drive, and then you rename it creative.rom. So that's the only file that's on here, is that BIOS update renamed creative.rom. You hook up a power supply to it, and you flip the power supply on. Okay. And then we are just, and oh, and the BIOS flashback port is the one closest to the audio connections here uh, on the bottom. So the 10 gigabyte on the bottom. So then all you're supposed to do is press this BIOS flashback for three seconds and it should start flashing and when it's done it should stop flashing. So that's what I'm gonna do and we'll see what happens. There we go. We got the green flashing. Um, if it was solid green that would mean that something was misconfigured. So it's flashing right now. It should actually be doing the update and then I'm gonna Turn it all off and do it all again uh, with the latest BIOS because this is not the latest. This was the upgrade path that they gave us to do. So there's there's literally nothing. There's no RAM in this board. There's no CP. There's no um, yeah. There's no CPU in it. There's nothing in it. It's just a stock board right out of the box. And if you care, it's on page 30, if you end up wanting to do this yourself. Uh, page, Jesus Christ, there you go, page 30 of the manual. Okay, stop blinking, so should be done. So now what I'm going to go do is pull this drive out. Put the latest 3.3 BIOS on there, rename the file to creative.rom, stick it back in here, press the button, and update it to the latest BIOS. That's pretty cool, anyway. Um, so, let's do that. Okay, so we're back, and I'm just going to do the exact same thing again. Um, so, what I just did was I saved uh, the latest BIOS update, which is 3.3, to this drive. Um, extracted it from the zip file, and then I and then I named it creative.rom, um, and that's the only thing that's on this drive is the extracted file that's been renamed. We're sticking it in the BIOS flashback port, which is just below the 10 gig uh, network connection. I'm sure, it's got a good connection, and then obviously it's connected to the power supply. Power supply's on. You get the we get some red flashing lights. So we're just going to hold the BIOS flashback for three seconds again, and then it should start to flash. Uh, and when it stops flashing, it's done. One, two, three, there we go. So it's flashing again. Uh, so it should be writing the new BIOS. And when it's done, um, then I know that the BIOS is updated to the latest version, and I can basically continue with the build. So... Um, that's it. I guess I'll keep filming and just let it finish. I'll fast forward it or whatever and be back with you. Okay, as you can see, the LED has stopped flashing. Uh, so that should mean that the BIOS update took. Uh, let's hope so, because or else I'm in for a really long day. And uh, so next, I guess, is installing the CPU.